Hi Therese, welcome to your reading. So before we go right in, I do want to give a disclaimer. For all messages that comes out today, please take them with a grain of salt. These messages are purely based on your current energy and um, your messages and possibilities are always changing depending on how your energy changes and depending on the choices that you make later on, okay? All right, so for this first question, I asked to be shown a past life that's impacting your current life the most. And while I was shuffling the cards, I saw a vision of your past life. And I saw that in this past life, you were actually an angel. <laughs> you were such a beautiful angel. You had fair skin. Um, you had like very gentle and feminine um facial characteristics and you had like this blonde wavy hair and you were wearing this flower crown and the dress that you were um it was like a white greek inspired dress it was like a dress that you would normally see in ancient um greece and um you had like white wings and you were so gorgeous and um when i saw you you were like flying and for some reason the word angel of love came up and i sensed that in this past life you were an angel that helped people find love so you were flying around with an arrow just like a cupid and like when you sensed that there were people that was struggling to find their soulmates or they were struggling with um, love, you would shoot an arrow into that area. And for some reason, this like would bring like transformation to that person and their relationships. So like you were a very powerful angel that was able to bring love and transformation into the spaces that you entered um so that's what i saw for you let's go into the cards now let's see here this card galactic came out and yeah in this past life you were from the heavens you were from one of the heavenly realms you were an angel and um you came down to like earth and like other physical planets you often went to these places and you helped people with their relationship problems um if there were people that st were struggling to find their soulmates you had a way of like directing them to find their soulmates and yeah this card karmic relationship came out so yes you were very good at helping people connect with their soulmates especially if that person is like near them or already in their life but they're just failing to see the connection you would energetically help them out so that they'll be able to recognize this soulmate connection so you loved connecting soulmates together that's like one of their your main roles as an angel There's this card, Trust and Faith, and I sense that um, many people called out to you for help. Like, you are an angel that many people had faith in, and your presence alone was able to, like, help people trust the process. So many people prayed out to you. Um, although, you know, like, your name, like, even if they don't know your name, like your energy, they recognize and they would like pray out to you for help and you would hear their prayers and you would go to help them. I was so like surprised when this card came out, Greece, because you were dressed in like Greek clothing and I sensed that, um, you were an angel that was like, that was like known in Greece. Like, 
I sense that many people in this area, um, they've encountered you and there had there were many stories that were formed because you helped a lot of people in this area and the people here they're very intentional about documenting their spiritual experiences and like forming stories with it so there are many stories that was um that was formed because of the assistance that you gave these people and not just that but then like you know I sense that you were very, um, you gravitated towards their, their culture, their clothing, which is why I saw you dressed in like a Greek dress. I sense that, um, I sense that you really liked it, Greece and the culture there and you went there a lot and because you visited this place a lot many people encountered your presence and your energy all right and up here deals more with like the work that you did there's this second chakra reverse and this deals with emotions relationships creativity and i sense that as an angel of love you helped with a lot of people's relationship problems when people were um having conflict in their relationships when people were like heading the wrong directions with their loved ones you would go to them and you would you would help make the energetic shift that's needed in order to help them tap into their hearts so that they can understand their loved ones and resolve these conflicts and there's this card contract that came out. I wanted more clarity, so I pulled more card. So there's Blossoming Abundance Reverse. There's Seven Chakra Reverse. This deals with um, higher self, consciousness, spirit. And I sense that in this past life, you also helped a lot with marriages. Whenever there were marriages that were no longer thriving, that were no longer like spiritually connected to each other, you would go help these married couples and you would like energetically guide them, direct them so that they'll get on the right path so that they can start bringing abundance back into their relationships and so that their spirits will recognize what truly matters and what doesn't because for like physical beings, um, sometimes it can be hard for them to see the bigger picture. Like they're so focused on like everyday problems and they get so like glued into these problems that they start making problems like out of things that ultimately don't matter. <laughs> and you had a way of reminding them what truly matters. Like on an energetic level, you would help transform these these spaces and although they can't see you they can feel the changes and ultimately these marriages would like naturally improve over time with your guidance and your help so wow very interesting and there's this card anxiety so yes Whenever people were like stressed out about their relationship problems, whenever they were very worried, you would feel, um, you would feel their energy and you would gravitate towards them because I sensed that in this past life, you had like a really big heart. You liked it helping others and, um, you liked it helping others with their pain, their suffering, and especially if they were going through relationship problems, you liked it to see people happy with their loved ones. And this door to spirit card came out. So yes, you did a lot of work on the spiritual side. So although not very many people could see you they could feel you energetically like you did a lot of things behind the scenes you would not show yourself to them but on the spiritual side you like you supported many people and you sent help to them 
um, from the spiritual side. So that was your past life. Now we're going to connect this into your current life. We're going to see how your past life is impacting your current life and if there's any karmic patterns that has carried over. So there's this card, Journey Reverse. Woman holding a heart reverse. Six chakra, this deals with your third eye, your intuition. The world reverse. Okay. So I sense that these two go together. Journey reverse, woman holding a heart reverse. And I'm feeling called to pull one more card just to clarify that one. Please clarify this journey reverse and woman holding a heart reverse. Broken heart reverse. Okay. Um, I don't know if you're currently in a relationship or if a relationship has ended, but I sense that there's a relationship that has ended <clears throat> or, or either needs to end. Um, I sense that in this relationship, this person that you were with didn't know how to love you properly. Like, you truly felt drained from this relationship. And this hurted you so much on a soul level. Because in your past life, you were literally the angel of love. And seeing other people happy in their relationships made you so happy. And in this lifetime... One of your purpose was to come and experience that for yourself and to be in a relationship that's not loving, that's not nurturing your heart, it hurted you deeply because you are someone just like before, you give so much of yourself to the person that you love. You truly pour all of your love into your relationship. You are someone who's very invested in your partner and you're someone who like would do anything that you can in order to help lift them in or in order to support them and you do everything that you can to make them feel loved and you put in all of the work to like learn their ways to make them happy like you were truly someone that would go the extra mile for your partner and in this relationship I sense that you were taken advantage of all of the things that you did it was not enough for this person this person just kept taking and taking from this relationship and this person was not nurturing you back and I don't know if you ended this one, this relationship, but if you have not ended this relationship, the universe is letting you know that you are so deserving of a person that loves you just as much as you love them. You are so worthy of being with another giver because you are, you are truly a giver. You give your all into your relationship and you're so worthy of being with a person who gives just as much as you who loves just as deeply as you so if you have not already loved this relationship the universe is letting you know that there's a lot in store for you there's a reason why you incarnated onto earth it is to experience love 
firsthand. Like in your past life, you were an angel of love that helped others find love. And part of you wanted to experience that for yourself. So in this lifetime, you are meant to understand love on like a human level. And, and if you already left this person, wonderful, you did a great job. <laughs> and broken heart reverse, I'm sensing that you are in the process of healing from this relationship. Um, there were many wounds that was caused because your heart wasn't nurtured properly and you are in the process of healing. You are in the process of coming back and like learning how to love yourself. I am sensing that um, the universe is encouraging you to come back, love yourself into healing. The more that you love yourself, the more that you will heal, the more that you will attract another person that will love you the same way that you love yourself, okay? Loving yourself is so crucial for your healing journey right now. And especially in the past, if you heavily relied on receiving love from others and those people took advantage of you and didn't know how to love you, right now, all the love that you gave to others, you're being asked to pour all of that love into your own heart. And that's going to help you heal. Six chakra. So this is your intuition, your third eye. Okay. I sense that these are like um gifts that has carried over from your past life. Like in this past life, you were an angel and you had like many um spiritual gifts. And I sense that some of that gifts has carried over and one of that gift is your intuition i sense that you have a strong intuition and if you have not tapped into that gift yet the universe is encouraging you to hone that gift okay you have beautiful intuitive abilities if you really sharpen it you have a way of having this deep knowing like you would just know things that other people don't know. You can easily sense things that it's not obvious to other people. So that is a beautiful gift that you are being encouraged to develop. And, um, oh, sorry. And, um, meditation is like one of the best ways to develop your intuitive abilities. And, Meditation is really going to help you tap into your spirit. And your spirit is basically the place where your intuition drives from. So if you have not meditated before, the universe is definitely encouraging you to um, try meditating and see what happens. The more you meditate, the easier it is to tap into your intuition. All right. There's this card, the world reverse. I'm feeling called to pull one more, just to clarify. What is this card, the world reverse? Please give me some clarity on that. Healer of the ages reverse. Wow. I sense that part of your role in this lifetime is to be some type of healer. <clears throat> like in the past, you were an angel of love and you worked a lot on like the spiritual side. And you decided to come into earth 
to help people on a personal level to be more of like you know in an, an engaging active role unlike before people couldn't see you you were like helping people behind the scenes and your soul desired to help people face to face which is why you incarnated down to earth and i sense that you have not fully recognized this yet um this purpose and your purpose is not only to come experience love for yourself but <clears throat> it's truly to come help heal other people and i'm sensing that right now um it's hard for you to see that purpose because it's really important for you to heal yourself first yeah the universe is encouraging you to work on healing yourself and the more that you heal yourself the easier it is to tap into your gifts and once you tap into your gifts you're naturally going to have the desire to help other people and later down in your healing journey i sense that part of you will have the desire to help other people heal and healing doesn't have to just be like on a spiritual level healing can also be like on a mental physical um emotional level you know healing can come in like multiple in, in multiple ways so when i say healer you know it doesn't mean that you have to be like a shaman <laughs> or just be like you know in the spiritual arena healing can be anything it can be as simple as you know being like a loving friend that people can go to to find comfort in it can be counseling it can be like some type of like teacher that teaches topics that helps people heal so i sense that later down in your journey um you might feel called to help people um, in their healing journey. And that that will come once you are like further along in your own healing journey, okay? And there are two karmic lessons that the universe wants you to learn from this. The first one is perseverance. <clears throat> I know that I can do whatever I set my mind to. Yes. The universe is reminding you that um, you may be going through some struggles right now. There may be things that you're still trying to heal from. And the, and the universe is encouraging you to keep up the wonderful work, okay? These things that you are going through, they are hard. They really are hard. And the universe wants to let you know that you can make it. You have the strength to overcome whatever it is that you're going through right now, okay? And to keep up the wonderful work and all of your hard work is going to pay off. You're going to see so many blessings coming into your life very soon here the second karmic lesson is purpose i know what i am here to do yes before you had a purpose and you were very connected to your purpose so connected that your soul wanted to come down to earth to help people on a personal level and you will soon realize that purpose the more that you work on healing yourself loving yourself the closer that you will get to your purpose and actually that process of healing yourself and loving yourself is part of your purpose because once you learn how to do all of that it will make it so much easier for you to help others achieve that as well okay so there's a purpose for all of the things that you're going through you are meant to go through these things personally so that you can understand it on a deep level so that when it is time for you to help others you're able to hold space for them 
because you understand the pain that you're going through, because you've gone through it yourself, you're able to understand and see what they're going through. And the affirmation that the universe wants you to hear is self-love. I attend to my needs by listening to my heart. My inner essence lets me know what is good for me. I respect my limits. I answer the requests of my body and my soul. Thus, I learn to love myself. Wow. We were like talking about this throughout your reading. And this is confirmation from the universe that it's time to come back and love yourself. It's time to come back and listen to your heart, okay? Wow, so beautiful. All right, that's all that came out for your reading. I hope that these messages were insightful. Thank you so much for trusting me with your reading. Have an amazing day.